Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to This Month in Monster Taming, the segment on this channel where we go over major upcoming developments in the monster taming genre for any given month, this time for the month of August. We've got a lot of exciting stuff coming this month, including the release of Soul Hackers 2, which is a Shin Megami Tensei spin-off title and the successor to the original Soul Hackers, a significant update for Koromon, which we'll get into in a bit, and even some updates slash releases for games we have yet to cover on the channel. So with all that being said, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's talk. Alright, so to begin, while this technically isn't August, but instead at the end of July, I do think it's pretty significant, that being the recent release of Digimon Survive. I think over the next few weeks, there's going to be a lot of discussion surrounding the game, and I personally am excited to be putting out a lot of Digimon-related content for you guys, which includes, but is not limited to, news updates, guides, breakdowns, discussions, etc. I'll leave a few Digimon Survive videos linked below that encompass what I just listed, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a quick shout-out, because even though the game launched on July 29th, I do think that the first half of August is going to be very Digimon heavy. Another update that is bleeding from July into August is the Lumion Legacy Sweet Retreat event, which if you don't know, is bringing forth some new Lumions to the table each and every week. I know we started our Digimon Survive Let's Play already, but don't worry, I will be continuing the Lumion one as we go. We likely only have a few more episodes before I've completed the main story, so they'll be spaced out a little bit. I'm hoping to stream the Sweet Retreat again soon if I can as well. On August 1st, which already passed, the Untamed Isles pre-sales went live. If you don't know what Untamed Isles is, it's an MMORPG. Monster taming experience with limb swapping mechanics that make for truly customizable creatures. The game's gonna come with an open world, instance battling, proximity voice chat, an area where you can PK other people, and more. It's releasing in its beta in September, and its early access is going live in October on Steam. Tomorrow, as of the time this video is going live, aka August 6th, there is going to be a Pokemon Presents, presumably giving us some new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet information. I'm 99% sure I will be streaming that, so make sure you subscribe so you get notified. We'll be uh, reacting to it together. On August 14th, a couple weeks from now, the Eternal Exodus Kickstarter will come to an end, although we are pretty much in the golden period for it right now because it's already funded, so everything raised from now until then is just extra money for the project, which will go towards unlocking various stretch goals, which you can see on screen now. If you somehow don't know, Eternal Exodus is essentially a Shin Megami Tensei-inspired RPG with everything you'd expect from an SMT game, from Fusion to the iconic press turn combat system. I'll leave a link below to a video exploring the Kickstarter should it interest you. On the next day, aka August 15th, Monster Tribe will be releasing in full access on Steam and Nintendo Switch. Now, Monster Tribe is a game we have covered in the past, but just to refresh, it's essentially a story-driven open-world pixel art monster taming RPG with grid-style combat and a very heavy emphasis on resource management. There is already a demo live if you want to check it out on their Steam page. I've played it myself and I do think that the concept is very interesting, but sometimes I'll also feel that obtaining monsters via resource collection does get a little bit slow. Still pretty solid either way if you're into that, again, linked below. On August 23rd, or late August as the creator has stated, the Cobble Critters Kickstarter will be going live. Now this is not a video game, but rather a tabletop card game where you can actually play it online via tabletop simulator. It has a whole bunch of rules and stipulations that we won't have time to go through here, but they do have a link tree linked in their Twitter bio, which I will link for you guys here so you can check out all their various social media. I do think it's nice to cover other monster taming mediums a little bit here and there when stuff like this happens. So yeah, if you're looking for some tabletop slash physical stuff, here you go. A couple days later on August 25th, we will be getting the release of Soul Hackers 2, a Shin Megami Tensei spin-off title that acts as a successor to the original Soul Hackers game from the 90s. If you've played Shin Megami Tensei 5, you'll notice some similar demons present within the game, all wrapped up into a title that kind of gives off those cyberpunk vibes a little bit. I personally really enjoyed Shin Megami Tensei 5, and I'm hoping that Soul Hackers 2 can also deliver, especially in the gameplay department where I felt that SMT5 really thrived. Either way, definitely expect content, whether it be a stream or Let's Play or some guides or whatever around launch to celebrate. On the same day, there will also be the launch of the Battle Gem Ponies public demo, which is essentially a monster taming game specifically catered to fans of the My Little Pony franchise. I think this game itself looks clean in terms of its pixel art and mechanics, but the pony aspect for me is a bit of a turnoff. But as I always say to each their own, so if this is something that interests you, I'll leave their Steam page linked below. The devs also in our Discord is a really cool guy, and I'm sure he'd very much appreciate this support. 
support. All right, next up, we're going to go into the updates that don't really have specific dates, but are expected to launch sometime in August. So firstly, yes, there is an update planned for Coromon that you might already be somewhat familiar with since said update is currently live on the beta branch on Steam. This brings forth a new trait plus mechanic that allows you to choose not to evolve your Coromon in exchange for a stronger version of that Coromon's trait. It also brings forth some updates that make the game less RNG heavy, some new items for PvP, new moves, including entry hazards and more. Do keep in mind that there's no official confirmation that it will be 100% coming out in August, but that is a target window. If you want to learn more about the update itself, you can check out my challenge run where we're trying to beat Coromon without evolutions. Doodle World, a title that I have yet to cover on the channel, is also receiving an update that is dubbed the Candy Factory sometime this month. The game in question, just like Lumion Legacy, is a monster taming game on Roblox, which if I'm not mistaken, was also the result of a Pokemon fan game that got canceled and then was reimagined into its own monster taming IP. As of such, the game does play a lot like Pokemon from what I've seen, and this update is supposed to bring forth the second gym equivalent from what I've heard. But again, I don't have a very extensive knowledge of the game yet because I haven't played it, but that'll change very soon. I'll leave their Twitter page in the description so you can check it out. Another game that we haven't covered yet on the channel that is currently in very early development is Enigmon, a title that is going to be launching a very simple combat demo to show off the game's mechanics. In terms of what the game is, one of the developers had this to say. Enigmon is a Mon game that takes inspiration from the likes of Pokemon, Nexamon, and Temtem, taking some of the best aspects from each and blending them together to build something both fresh but familiar. 18 types, 250 original monsters to be discovered, and more. Use baits to help find wild Mons. Toss treats to improve your capture odds on Mons with different temperaments. Travel the region as the professor's unpaid and unwilling intern as you work your way towards becoming the champion and thwart the actions of Team Enigma and their mysterious Mon-enhancing drug said to be a key element in their plans. Do keep in mind that the footage you're seeing is mostly placeholder as the goal of the demo was to showcase how the game's mechanics work and not the actual in-game art. There is a lot of borrowed assets that will be replaced. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, a couple things that aren't really events that are happening this month, but I thought I'd shout out is that Coromon and Monster Sanctuary are both doing plushie events. I'll leave links to the plushies you can buy links below. You can see them on screen. So definitely check those out. But other than that, I think August is going to be a lot of fun. I got a lot more Digimon content to still get out. I got to finish my Lumion Let's Play. We got to get back to the Coromon Challenge Run. We got Soul Hackers coming, Monster Tribe coming. So a lot of monster taming stuff as per the usual. The genre has really picked up since it first sort of had its resurgence in 2020 and it's not showing any signs of slowing down. All that said, if you do want to join me on this monster taming journey we're having, definitely subscribe to the channel because I put out new monster taming videos every single day check out my twitter my discord my patreon all links below special thanks to the patrons especially dark persona dro ghost and jim hamilton and we'll see you guys next time peace